let's find the exact value of the sine of two times the inverse sine of one half. You recall that inverses are just angles, so this inverse sine is just some angle and we call it theta. And it's actually one of the ones that we do know because one half is one of our y values on the unit circle. So I'm going to rewrite this as simply the sine of theta being one half. That's really all that means. So then on the unit circle, if we're talking about inverse sine, the outputs can only be in the first or the fourth. So I'm looking for where the y coordinate is one half, which is that pi over six. So this question is really asking for a sine of twice pi over six or the sine of pi over three, which is the square root of three over two. Okay, let's try another one with a value that's not on the unit circle, one of our common ones. So let's say we have the sine of twice inverse cosine of four fifths. So again, inverses are just angles, so that inverse cosine is some angle, and we call it theta. So because 4 fifths is between negative 1 and 1, this angle does exist. And by the definition, cosine of theta will be 4 fifths. I'm going to draw my triangle in the first quadrant because it's positive. Inverse cosine and outputs of 1 and 2. It's got to be the first because it's positive. So cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so opposite is going to be 3. So then this problem is really asking for the sine of 2 theta, which is expanded as 2 sine theta cosine theta. And we know both of these. Sine of theta is 3 over 5. And cosine of theta is 4 over 5. So multiplying that out, we get 24 over 25. One more, let's do a cosine. So the cosine of twice, an inverse sine of negative 3 over 5. Okay. Again, remembering that inverses are just angles. So the inverse sine of negative 3 fifths is theta. So that means that the sine of theta is negative 3 fifths. So I'm going to draw the triangle in the right quadrant. Because we're talking about inverse sine, it can only be 1 and 4. Because it's negative, it's got to be 4. So opposite is the negative 3, hypotenuse is 5, which makes the adjacent 4. So then I'm looking for really the cosine of 2 theta. You have three equations that that could be. And because I know the sine, hopefully I didn't mess up my triangle, because I know the sine, I'm going to use the one that involves just sine. So 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. So if you really think about it, none of this triangle work was necessary because we only needed the sine value anyway. So then this is 1 minus 2 times the negative 3 fifths being squared. So 1 minus twice 9 over 25. So 1 minus 18 over 25 or 7 over 25. 